everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Subnautica, shall we? Exploring this wreckage over by LifePod19 in our Seamoth. There's some big dudes over here, but that's okay. So what we're doing is we're just trying to figure out how we might get into this doorway, all right? So it's not opening. It's got no power. We can't go that way, but look at this. There's a hole right here in the hatch that we can kind of sneak through, and we're just going to explore this. I'm going to look at everything, see if there's anything we can scan. There's some electricity up there, so we want to stay well away from that. Look at that. There's a PDA right there, and we can press this to view, and this says this is from the Degasi crew, and this is the manifest from Marguerite Maida, and this is a very important story if you are interested in and I'm not going to spoil anything, but you can come here and get that and check it out and start piecing together the puzzle that is the lore of this game. I'm going to move down here, watching my oxygen and just dodging the death traps that are the electricity. And we need to move a little bit quicker, just seeing what is in here precisely. What is back in this place? And where can I go, right? It doesn't look great. Now, when you get to about the halfway point with your O2, I'm just going to retrace my steps and just go back out and get some oxygen. We're getting close to what we need. Oh, I think I saw something back there too. But I need some oxygen. So I'm just going to hop into my... Seamoth and fill up my oxygen and go back. And we're going to go to our inventory and we need to equip the cannon. I want to equip it instead of um, a fire hydrant. Or <laughs> how about a fire extinguisher? A fire hydrant would be funny. Oh, there's something to scan. What is it? This? Okay. Oh, it's a bench. Well, that's not great, but might as well get it. Now, I thought I saw floating maybe... Yes, look at this. Laser cutter right there. Hiding in plain sight. Boom. We got two out of three laser cutter fragments, and that is tremendous. That's what we're looking for around this area, our laser cutter fragments. Now, because I'm so close to the entrance, I'm just going to try to be smart with my O2. I took some time right there to scan. So let me just top off my oxygen. And then jump back out. Another reason the Seamoth is just so useful for exploring versus the Sea Glide. It, it's not as nimble as the Sea Glide, but it does provide you with oxygen, which is pretty nice in a game when you're underwater. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the cannon out. And I'm going to see, can I move anything, you know, out of the way here to gain access to new spaces? Oh, there's something to scan right there. Look at that. Battery charger fragment. Tremendous. We got it. And let me just kind of see, can I pick you up? I can. So get out of my way. And... Are you blocking anything? You look like you might want to be, but not having any good luck moving you. So, at this point, we found a battery charger fragment. Let's take a look with our flashlight. Is there anything back there? It actually doesn't look like there is. So, I'm going to be satisfied with that. And I'm going to keep exploring. And we're getting lower on oxygen. It's just one of those times when... Oh, look at that. There's a passage over there. Perfect. All you have to do is just keep an eye on your oxygen and remember how to get out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Another laser cutter right there in my face. Get it. Yes. We just did it, everyone. We can now make a laser cutter, which is insane. Because this is going to let us... Well, first of all, let's get some oxygen... 
let's see what this takes. Let's go into our inventory. Let's go to the blueprints. Let's go down to tools or up to tools in this case. And here's the laser cutter. It takes, oh, it takes diamonds. So we need diamonds. We need cave sulfur, which we have. That's where those explodey guys come out. Battery and titanium, which we actually have on us. Now diamonds, okay, if you're curious, you can always go into the data bank. And I'm just going to close up some of these and show you. Geological data. Okay, so sandstone can have lead, silver, and gold. Limestone can have titanium and copper. So we haven't found a place to easily get diamond yet. Okay, so that's something that we want to keep our eyes on. All right, now let me go back in here and see... If I can, uh, 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 get down here, okay, and is this something down here? What's this? Is there anything worthwhile here? I'm going to get out my flashlight, and we can go down this passage. Now, remember, you got to keep track of where you're at. Like, do your best to try to make sense of where you are so if you need to get out in an emergency you don't get lost mm -hmm. all right and yes okay we found a room um, with lots of stuff in it but unfortunately for us uh can we repair this yes okay thank goodness i right, repair this right away and see if we can open this door we can and we're going to go through and where are we i'm going to go down and i'm going to see where we're at and what is this this is a door that we can't open but we can get out here okay or can we oh god yes all right where's my seamoth it's over here okay so look at this we entered from over here so there was a bunch of things for us to go scan but the issue is oxygen before you scan stuff, make sure you have an exit. Like, get yourself a way out first. So let me move our Seamoth over here to where I kind of snuck in. Um, man, where was that? There was like a little gap for me where I came out. Was this it over here? Yeah. All right. So... Uh, did I look at all this stuff? Let me get out really fast and just see if I have checked through all of this and see if there's... 100 meters. Yeah, cool. Oxygen efficiency decreased. So here's another battery charger. Fragment lying on the ocean floor here. And now we can make a battery charger. Now, remember how I was telling you that you can actually charge your batteries that have become empty and you do it with the battery charger in your base so it's something we can build inside our base all right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now you'll notice our oxygen it it is depleting rather rapidly here because of uh the depth that we're at oh oh what's this scanner room fragment let's go ahead and pick this up and now we can make a scanner room which is a whole compartment on your base that you can make it's actually really sweet because you can scan for minerals and have them kind of like marked so you can more easily go and acquire them it's nice all right so we have 24 minutes before the sunbeam arrives and we might want to go check that out all right but first i'm going to finish my job here and what was it it was telling me to scan there's something like right away that it wanted me to take a look at and all right here's a, tr a chest that has some water that's great so they were really oh, low on water take. speak of the water let's go to our inventory and we can just drink that new water. 
Uh, this food is rotten, so I'm just going to push square to drop it. And we'll drink. All right. Vital signs stabilizing. You're darn right they're stabilizing. All right. Uh, let's see. Here's another chest. It has some more water in it, which is cool. And let's see. All right, we need to swim over here. And we just want to obviously avoid the electricity and go down in here. All right, and we will find a modification station fragment. Amazing, get that. Uh, there is a battery charger fragment, which is just going to give us metal because we already have that. Open it, take the water. All right, and I'd love to keep going, but we actually need to boogie and get some oxygen before we explore more. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you so much. You love the the tinny AI voice. It's you know so charming. Um, Mm, I'm just checking this out for some reason. Making sure there's nothing useful, but there really isn't. Alright. Let's see. What else is in this room? Give me that flashlight. Here we go. Um, now that's just a, like a robot arm. Oh, here's some stuff, maybe. Yeah, more wire fragments. So usually what they do is they give you more than you need, more laser cutter fragments. Uh, there's a mod station fragment, though. Let's definitely pick up that. And uh, what is in here? Anything good? Yep. All sorts of good stuff. So battery charger, meters. Uh, laser cutter, decreased. and mod station. We're going to get this mod station. And now we've got it completed. And let's get my light on and let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Seconds. I know, I know. It's getting brutal. All right. So at this point, I feel like we've gotten everything that we could get in this wreck site. We got, we finished up the laser cutter. We got, oh, we can make a thermal blade. Oh, we definitely want to make that. I didn't even see that. Um, Actually, I think you have to have, yeah, okay. So you see how this is under the tab for modification station? We have to have, have built that before we can do that. Uh, that's fantastic, though. And then we found, uh, oh, scanner room. Yep, we finished that. We also finished, uh, let's see. Yeah, here's the scanner room. And... No, but we got the battery charger. Yes, indeed. And the modification station. So we need more diamonds for a lot of things. And that's just the reality. Okay. So, there is the last broadcast of LifePod 19. Now we can check out. All right, let's go ahead and say... Um, we already saw this... Let's see. What we need is... Um, let's see. No, where is... Do they not tell us where the sunbeam will arrive at? 
LifePod 19, LifePod 17, LifePod 3. It doesn't look like it. So what we can do is just go up to the surface and look for them. Yeah, he says, um, we've sent you the coordinates, but where? Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. Oh, right. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. All right, so this is, um, this is Keen's last broadcast here but we also have um located here it is the sunbeam landing site i was gonna say all right so this is where the sunbeam wants to arrive now we need to head back anyway because we need to get food actually you know what i'm thinking about let me look at this yeah, 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 we didn't check out 19. We were at 17. So 19, I misspoke. We haven't done that one yet. We need to do that one. But I'm going to go back and get food. And then I think it's probably best if we at least head over in the direction of the Sunbeam. Now, if you want certain items, okay? Like if you're looking for, you know, diamonds um, and such, usually... You have to go deeper to get them. And we're not really that deep. All right. So let's pick up some food. And, you know, we can just take some of this out. Should be plenty for us to eat. All right, phenomenal. Let's eat. Are you done? You're done. So we're getting some really good food. Let's see. What are they telling us we can make? Oh, right. Laser cutter. Yeah. I mean, I wish. Uh-huh. A beacon is actually nice to have. So I don't think I have any... And I, actually, I know I don't have any of these right now, but beacons are cool because what you can do with them is like, for example, that crash site that we found. Let's go ahead and eat two of these and drink one of those and just be really good. The crash site that, that we found by the life pod, you could easily... I'm just going to dump some items in here this is fine put a beacon there just so you'd remember and you could even leave yourself like little notes and stuff it's very helpful we don't actually have to have a beacon right there in my opinion simply because that life pod is there it's so close all right so i'm gonna head over to the place where it says it's gonna land and it says it's gonna get here in 17 minutes so um, you can see how far away it is, and let's just try to make our way over in this direction, and while we're doing that, we can kind of look at the ocean floor and see if there's anything, uh, noteworthy, there's a trash can, I think we already have scanned that. Yeah. That's just something you can build at your base, there's a baddie. Some jerks. They might attack us. It's not a problem, though. The sea moth can just get past them. And you can always repair it if things go just horribly wrong. But that shouldn't happen. All right. Now, speaking of that, let's go ahead and save the game. You never know. You never 
No. When you start entering new territories, you just kind of want to be on your guard. So here's some sandstone here. And I'm just going to jump out and break it out. Get some, some gold. That's wonderful. And oh my god. It still gives me the shivers. I mean, like, we're staring down a trench that is so deep. Okay, so there... Um, and this... We can go to 150 with this, okay? So you can see now, actually, if I go down, we can go pretty deep, but this is going, like, super deep. We still have some time. We're getting a radio signal. Um... Let's see what's in this little cave here. The Seamoth is cool because it can maneuver in a space like this. And it's safer to go in a place. In the Seamoth, of course, because you've got oxygen. Okay, I'm just kind of poking around, seeing if we can find anything fantastic. We are 135 meters down, and... Ah! What is this? Shale. Oxygen efficiency decreased. That's lithium. Oh my god, where's my flashlight? Yeah, give me that. Alright, so this is a hard area for us to be in right now because we're so deep that our oxygen is not as efficient as normal. But at the same time, um, I want shale. I want to find another one if I could. I, I should have scanned it. I got so excited. Here we go. Shale chunk. And then you can go to geological data. And these can contain gold, lithium, and diamonds. So this is what we're talking about. This is exactly what we want. So this is about 120. There's a diamond. So, by the way, hilarious... What they're doing right there is they're telling us that um, the diamond that we just found is Altera Company property. And, you know, right, they can... Wow, look at this cave. I mean, just unbelievable. They can, you know, kiss our posterior because they've basically left us to perish. And they're worried about their diamonds. Instead of us. The employee. Alright. Diamond. We just got two diamonds. Which is all that we need to uh, make the laser cutter. Which is ridiculous. But more diamonds would be awesome. Because we need them for a variety of things. This is just lithium sticking out here. Lithium we need too. So might as well... Uh, oh, I thought that was a, a shale outcropping for a moment. Just keep an eyeball on your oxygen when you're down here. Because, you know, it will go fast. Alright, and then I like to just kind of hop in the old Seamoth. You can see we're 85% power, so this thing is fine on power. It's like not that big of a deal. All right, uh, let's see here. Any more outcroppings for us to find diamonds from, or should we turn around? This looks like this cave might be done, and that's fine. It was wonderful while it lasted. Oh, and... I don't precisely remember my way out, but luckily, there's nothing threatening in here, and we will find the way out. We have plenty of power, plenty of oxygen. This would be terrifying if you were just skin diving or whatever, you know, you didn't have your vehicle with you, but we do, so it's not a concern. We can just keep driving around until we find the way out, and... This looks good. Looks like we're working our way out. Nice, large cave section here. 
I'm still greedily looking for diamonds, by the way. Who wouldn't? Alright. Here we go. Now we got gold, which isn't as cool, but you will need more gold. Seamoth is great too in the dark because it just has lights on it. it. Helps you find it easier. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Now, if you're not spatially challenged like I am, you probably have already found the way out. But, um, oh, 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 I'm not the best at navigating these places. Alright. Yes, another diamond. So good. Alright, Seamoth, let's go. Mm -hmm. There also is the device the name... Oh, dear God, I crashed into the wall. Um, or a stalagmite or something. There is the device that you can build that will help you leave a trail of glowing breadcrumbs, basically. I never build it, but you certainly can. And I probably should build it at this rate with how horrifyingly lost I've become. I don't think I want to go deeper. Oh, look at this. Look what we found. Well, well. What's this, you say? Let's scan it. It's a purple tablet. We found ourselves a purple tablet in this cave. Now, what could that be? I'm not saying anything. All right, let's look around here. All right. Is anyone interested in helping me find the way out? Because I would appreciate it. I, I believe at this point I'm quite literally going in circles. So let's do our best to say, okay, I was just in this room. Yes, I do remember that. And what about... Did I go this way last time? Okay. And then you come up, and then there's stalagmites everywhere. And then there's shrooms, and you turn around, and... Okay, what's over here? It is... Um... Mm -mm. Where does this go? God, this doesn't look good. This looks... This looks like I'm going back where I was. And I am. Alright, now they're just messing with me. Okay. Welcome to getting lost in a cave in Subnautica. Alright. Let's try this way. No, no, that's... That's definitely not it. <laughs> it all looks the same. But of course it's not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's going to take me back the same way. That's fine. All right, so there's this big... In this room, there's like a big bridge. 
And what if I go down? Can I go down to go up? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks great. Wow, I got lucky. Down to up. Down to go up. Down to go up. Okay. So, let's get us back to the Sunbeam landing site. I apologize if I... My lack of orientation ability... Hey! Ruined you. Uh, I am not good. But we made it. I get lost easily. But you see how we, how we have 79 power, even though I'm just driving around in circles like a fool? We're fine. And look what we found. Another place to get on land. I'm going to get out. I don't want to beach my sea moth. Remember, it stays marked. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a knife out just in case things get frisky. Um, I'll put it out instead of my flashlight for now because... You know, it looks fine here. All right. And there is a tower right here. Now, let me just say something. I'm going to pause it. If you don't want to see more than this, if you want your story to be preserved and you don't want to see what's going to happen when that gets down from 5 minutes and 36 seconds, then do not watch anymore. Just enjoy the game. Do this on your own pace. But I'll show you. What happens? All right, so we're chilling, and there's a bunch of stuff that we can examine, like these bulbo trees. Scan them. Bam. And you might want to. You don't have to. But if you snip it and you pick up a, a bulbo tree sample, okay, this is like something that you can plant in your base when you have the right technology to do that. And you're going to be happy. Just keep one of those, okay? It's one of the best things that you can grow to eat in the game because it gives you um, a little bit of water and it's easy to grow. So it's like, oh, here's the bad boy. And look, there's like alien stuff here there's all these kind of like alien buildings and what is this and it's a force field control and it wants a tablet well guess what i have a tablet so i'm gonna put my tablet that we found in that cave randomly right here and see if this does anything for us and we can get in so i mean who wouldn't this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. So what they're saying is that this is made of like amazing metal that matches nothing in the database that's super filled, um, super integrity metal, basically. And we're in. Now... If you get here on your playthrough and you don't get lost in a cave and find a purple tablet like I did, do not worry, okay? I believe on my Let's Play, I did not have a purple tablet when I got here. I just got kind of like randomly lucky when I got lost there and found that. And let's see, what is this data terminal? Um, download the data. Unknown language. All right. So we're going in. And this place... Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Okay. Hey, look what we found. What's this? It's an ion cube. Scan it. Get it. We got an ion cube. Look at us tossing it around. How about cool is that, right? All right. I'm actually going to go out. I could do something different, potentially, if I kept going in. Um, but I want to show you what happened to me. And what will most likely happen to you the first time you play. Let's come out to the beach. And 
Oh, there's a purple tablet fragment. Let's scan that. I believe we... Yeah, you get the blueprint here, and you can learn how, I think, to make these? Uh, maybe not yet, but... Maybe it's just something that we scan. No, yeah, here it is. Purple tablet. So, with an ion cube and two diamonds, we can actually make our own. So... You could come here and scan it and build your own, but you need ion cubes. So I'm going to take a look and let's see if we can see the sunbeam anywhere. There's these flying dudes, by the way, you can see up here lurking. And while we're doing this, might as well just chop this bulbo tree. So this is what I'm talking about. If you grow your own bulbo tree, you see how it gives you food and water? Like, you eat this, and you're just getting food and water. It's phenomenal. It really is. And you can keep chopping this and get a... Oh, boy. Who's who's hitting us? Oh, Crab Man? Okay, no problem. And you get a bunch of these before it's gone. So I'm going to eat it up. They're really nice. All right. I don't want to fight the crab. I want to get to a good place so that we can see the uh, Aurora Break Atmosphere. Or, I'm sorry, the Aurora already did break atmosphere. I want to find the Sunbeam. <laughs> so this is the alien place that we're at. Here is our ship here. They're going to be arriving very soon. There's our life pod over here. Look at this. This is like a... This whole little landmass, it's a small island, but it's got mountains. Now, we want to explore all of this, of course. All right, and I'm just going to kind of stay up here, looking around. Oh, there's that giant moon. Breathtaking. Hmm. Okay. We're 45 seconds away. Can we see the ship? There's the sun. There's the moon. All right. They're going to be arriving. Wait a minute. Why is this moving? What's happening? What is this? Oh my goodness. Uh, what? That, it doesn't look friendly, right? Where's the ship? Where's that sunbeam? Survivor, we see you. Oh. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. Thank you, he sees us. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Um... I, I want to... building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. There they are. No turning back now. They're coming. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Uh-huh. All right, they're about to land. They're... It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. But, oh, my... No. Sunbeam. That is vaporized. So you didn't think we'd escape that easily, did you? We don't. This presumably, and I'll leave it for you to speculate on, is maybe what caused the Aurora not to have a peaceful journey. That ship, the Sunbeam, was much smaller than our ship, so the Aurora took a big blow and, you know, moved, you know, scattered in fragments. That thing is just gone, and you could see that the giant death green 
ion cannon is moving back into place and collapsing. So here we are. Well, <laughs> what does that mean? That means we need to find a different way off of this planet. And everyone, this is a good place to stoically end the episode. Why don't you, uh, you know, RIP Sunbeam, say a little something. to mark the digital deaths of the entire crew. And think about what we've done here. We basically learned how to make several new things, including a laser cutter. We got the diamonds to do that. We got some lithium. Uh, we went really deep into a cave system, found a purple tablet, got into this alien facility. We can now go back to the Aurora, use the laser cutter, explore further. We can go back to the crash site that was near the cave and explore the cave system there to find the Degasi. Um, we could explore further to Life Pod 19 and keep seeing what this game has to offer us. But wow, amazing developments. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.